Hey guys, welcome back to Kulvin Craft. Today we are going to talk about the rolling axis of a vehicle. Rolling axis is basically the axis about which your vehicle will roll when you take a turn. And the position of this rolling axis will determine how much your vehicle will roll. So this all depends on the suspension geometry. Here we have a two dimensional front view of a vehicle. We have the tires, the suspension arms and the vehicle frame. So what we are going to do is we are going to project a line from these two arms. So let us say that this is a line from the upper arm, this one for the lower arm. And we can see that these two points meet somewhere over here. Let us name this intersection point as Q. We'll join this Q with the contact patch between the tire surface and the road surface. So joining these two points, let us name this point over here as A. So we get this line QA which intersects the center line of a vehicle at some point. This point over here is our rolling center. I'll name this point as W1 because this one's for this we have done for let us say the front suspension. We have another rolling point which if we if we plot a point then we get W2 for the rear suspensions. So let us have a look. We have this uh, 2D sketch about the X in the X Z plane. And let us say that our W1 is somewhere over here. W1, we get W2 somewhere over here, W2. And connecting these two points now again, we get this line, this axis over here. And this is our rolling axis. So while cornering, a vehicle will roll about this axis. Now, how much will our vehicle roll? That depends on the distance between this axis and the center of gravity. So let us say that we have center of gravity somewhere over here. So this distance, let us say that it is H. So rolling angle can be given as M A H divided by phi front plus phi rear. This phi is basically rolling spring rate. We, we know what a spring rate is. Spring rate is basically the amount of force required for unit, um, unit displacement. And this same goes for the rolling moment. And MAH is basically the moment which is created because of the lateral force. MA is the force and H is the distance between the CG and the rolling axis. So this lateral force, uh, the distance between the rolling axis and the center of gravity and the rolling spring rate, these three factors will determine how much your vehicle will roll. So this was all about the rolling center and the rolling angle. And this was all for the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.